What is going on guys and girls, it's Gremlin Gaming here and today a lot of people have been asking me to do a video on how I stream, sorry <laughs> my door's slamming in the background because i got my window open, but it's alright, don't worry about that. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, like I said, um, on how to I sh how do I stream, so I'm going to show you, you're going to see a lot of uh, duplicates um, right now on screen, but it's alright. So I use open broadcast so uh, software which is a free software. I'll leave a link in the description for you so you can understand it. But at the moment, I am recording, and as you can see, this is my audio right now, um, and I've got this set up like this. But what you're going to want to do is actually, you're going to want to come down here, and you're going to want to add scene, okay? Uh, you can call it whatever you want. I just call mine Advanced Warfare, but if you want to do, like, PC, you can just call it PC. Click Enter, right. Okay, so now we've got this. You're probably wondering, what do we do now? Right, okay, so what do you do? You go to Add. Um, if, if you want to do PC... Uh, you just literally click on monitor capture as someone uh, <laughs> messaged me saying, I'm going to be streaming the Gario tonight, my friend, don't you worry. Um, but yeah, so you go on to monitor capture, you can keep it like that if you want. But you want to go on to monitor 2 or 1, basically whatever monitor it is that you uh, is um, set as the main screen is what you're going to want to do. So hopefully that syncs up, it does not. So you want to check it, that does not do that. Uh, so you want to go to monitor one, which is what it does, and there you go. So at the moment, it's like this. If it does this, then you want to go to edit scene, and you want to just literally drag it down, and obviously pull it up like that, um, and you want to drag it out like that. So there you go. You've got it set. Boom. That's your monitor done. So now when you open any sort of game, this screen that's on here, not uh, the one that's on the next screen, which is next to me. Obviously, I've just dragged it over. So... There it is. That's straight away. You've got the monitor. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to put, uh, obviously, if you want to, audio. Um, audio automatically comes through. Um, I would recommend, no matter what, if you click on settings, um, you want to have all your settings like this. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll sort the settings out afterwards um, once we've actually spoke about it a bit more in depth. So you're going to want to go to add. Um, another one, if you want um, webcam, for instance, you want to go to capture, uh, game capture, I think it is, nope, it's all, it's, it's changes every time. So you want to go to video capture device, um, and there you go, so you've got the Elgato, you can use the Elgato if you want, um, so th this is for um, Xbox or PlayStation streams, um, this is what you do, so you keep everything the same, I would recommend turning this down quite a bit, because it is really really loud so I, I i usually have it on around 25 uh, or 15 either one's perfect but this is the main main thing lads uh, like ladies and gentlemen always put your ghetto at minus 1500 uh and take this off and then do that again minus 1500 and you have to do this every time every every time and i think it's crashed no it takes a while it does my for some reason my obs actually uh, comes up with not responding it does this like it's doing now um and there you go it'll come up one moment please um i've not got my console plugged in at the moment but it well it is plugged in but it's not connected to anything so we'll get rid of that for now that video capture device so at the moment right so we've done the monitor capture and the El Gasso. So if you just want to do PC game, um, you've got the monitor capture here. So what you're going to want to do next is go to video capture device. And you're going to want to actually click enter on that, which is going to be number two. You can change the name. I'm not going to uh, change the name. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is go to Logitech webcam like this. Um, and for me, I, I always have mine on... Uh, 1800 by 600 just because it it needs to be done like that but I have actually started recently having it on 720 at 60 FPS just because it is a lot better quality and I put my mic at 75 sorry I was going to say 76 because I just saw 76 um, but this doesn't matter because I don't use um, a separate like there we go like you can see my green screen in the background and that so what we're going to do quickly is I'm going to drop that down here like this um, and just bring it down like that so this is what you're gonna see um, but the audio is probably not syncing up it never does for me um, when I do it like this if this is the case what you're gonna want to do is click back on this you're gonna right click it properties and I've just misclicked it <laughs> 
and then what you're gonna want to do is you want to gonna you're gonna want to go uh, on audio input device sorry and you want to go to uh, the monitor uh, Minecraft uh, Minecraft oh my god I'm messing up already uh, you want to go to microphone like that and there you go so now you're gonna hear an echo I'm gonna quickly mute that because you you definitely heard an echo there um, and it's still doing it so I'm gonna get rid of this for now but it's basically if you can't if you don't uh, this is just because I'm streaming on this one but at the moment we're done you've got your audio you've got your game capture device so what do you do now okay so this is what you do you want to go into your YouTube channel this is how I stream everyone like I click on video manager and then I click on live events and then I go schedule new event you're gonna to want to keep it like this all right so say that we do call of duty we do call of uh, duty just saying uh, stream uh, I don't know test for instance there we go so whatever time you want to set it to you do it like this um, I don't know it's as you can see up here is one so we'll just keep it at two because it's one uh, you're gonna to want to put your tags in I would recommend uh, always using like the speech settings and exclama uh, exclamation marks to um, actually do it but you want to control a that and uh, see that and then you want to uh, control C and then control V in there and then it basically puts it as a tag your title so when people type in say that you've got a Call of Duty uh, live stream test if I was like that uh, if people just put in Call of Duty live stream uh, it would come up and you would see the uh, live stream so that's that done so you put your description in uh, no there we go blah de, blah de, blah um, you want to go to advanced settings um, these are the settings I've got. I've never touched these, so I think these are actually just standard uh, procedures of what you're supposed to have. But I always click on the recording date so that everybody knows. Um, I'd recommend taking it off and just putting overlays on for the monetization. Um, for those that um, have not got YouTube um, available, uh, live stream available, it, uh, basically you cannot live stream. It's as simple as that. So we're here, right? If you've not got a thumbnail, um, you literally. If we bring this over here, like, I've recently made a thumbnail, uh, here, right. there we go, so, there we go. You copy and paste it, for anybody that's wondering what uh, I use to um, make my thumbnails, I use Photoshop, I'm using the CC 2015 version, because the 20, uh, no, yeah, the 2014 version, sorry, because the 2015 version actually doesn't work for me for some reason, um, it crashes my PC, or it doesn't even open, but, Right, this is the main, main thing, ladies and gentlemen. If you do this, you have to check your speed test. So, no matter what, if your speed test is not up to this, like, you're going to have to stream in uh, 480p, no matter what, all right? But I stream in this because my PC is just good enough. Um, but, yeah, you go. I click on 60 FPS, and see this? This here is what you're going to want. You want to control C that and copy it. All right, you want to click save changes, bam, done. That's done, all right? So now what you're going to want to do, is you want to come back to this, and you want to come on to settings, you want to come into broadcast settings, you want to take rid of path key, and get rid of that, and control V that into there, and paste that into there. So there we go. Now that's done, right? So we're going to go into the encoding settings. I've got my encoding at times 264. Uh, These are all perfect. Not much has actually been changed. Um, use CBR as um, being checked. Uh, enable CBR padding checked. Uh, uh, use cuff, custom buffer size check. And then I've got 1600 because my internet, this is basically 1.6 megabytes per second. All right? Or 1600 kilobytes per second. This matters very, very much. So the buffer size has to be the same. You can put it a little higher. I think 1700 or 1800, it's up to you. But this is because my speed test, if I go into uh, my speed uh, test.net, there we go. Uh, this one right here, you want to click on. And then you want to run your speed test. I, I'm not going to do mine now because otherwise I'm going to lag out. But if you get around uh, the upload speed around three plus, this setting is perfect for you. Absolutely perfect. Even two and a half to three uh, plus is absolutely perfect. 
So we're gonna go back onto this and there it is. So I keep this as this, I don't touch that, I don't touch that. I up this a little bit because it's usually on 112 or 128. I put it on 192 just to get better um, audio uh, through my microphone and I've got stereo of course. There's nothing else to do otherwise, um, and obviously you view on your watch page. Peep, uh, that's it, Call of Duty test, uh, stream test, um, and then you click view live event. Right, this is the main part as well. There's a lot of main parts that you got actually. As you can see, it says we are not receiving data from your encoder. Uh, please make sure you configure uh, um, configure correctly in the ingestion settings. Don't don't listen to that. All you got to do is click start streaming. Once it starts streaming. Um, there's two things. If this is clicked, this here, I, I don't know how to get it off, but once I clicked it, I've not touched it. Um, if this is not clicked, you'll, you'll click start streaming and it'll automatically stream. You just literally click start streaming, bam, you're done. Um, and if you click this, it says preview, then you can check your previews, um, see if everything's okay. And then what you do then is actually, once it's done that, you want to refresh it quickly. Uh, once you've refreshed it, it should come up, start streaming. It's, before you click that, press play on both of these so they're both playing and then you click start streaming and you are away. So that is it. Hopefully that um, helps you out. And obviously it's the same when you're using the Elgato as well. Um, before you start streaming, literally right click it, properties. You want to go to, that's not the right one. Yeah, you want to right click it, uh, properties. And then you want to make sure that this is a minus 1500 like i said and then click okay okay and then you start streaming so then that is pretty much it ladies and gentlemen hopefully this has helped you out with your stream hopefully the settings does uh does work for you it works for me um it well it works perfectly fine for me in my you can see previous streams um that i've done and all the audio syncs perfectly once it goes up as a video it does um there is a i don't know I, uh, it's not even a second delay in the audio to lip part but once it goes up as a video you'll have top notch quality i'd recommend once you start streaming though to go back to this go to ingestion settings and disable 60 fps and click save this this actually allows you to have the 60 fps input at this um and it doesn't actually disable it it keeps it at 60 fps but it uses less um megabytes per second or kilobytes per second either way you want to put it but yeah thank you so much for watching hopefully you did enjoy it if you did don't forget to smash that like button and share it and hopefully it helps you out as much as it did thank you so much for watching and i will see you later on in a live stream or another day